Hello dear children. Today I am going to continue the third chapter of history, the Harappan Civilization, second part. Yesterday I have read till the Great Bath. Now I am going to read Life in the Harappan Civilization. How did they spend their life over there? The Harappan people practiced agriculture. The exhibition at Kalibangan provides evidence of a plowed field. The people there grew different crops, mainly wheat and barley. In Rajasthan, barley was grown on a large scale, while in Gujarat it was ragi, peas, sea same and lentils, that means masur, were also cultivated. The Harappan people were also familiar with cotton. The statues, the pictures on the seals and the remains of cloth found in the excavations indicate that the Harappan people used to weave cloth. The dress of both men and women consisted of knee-length cloth and an upper garment. Just see the picture over here, the figure of the ornaments which they used to wear. See the necklace. Okay. What are they wearing? They wear the rings, the armlets, that means on the, that means arms over here on the top, as well as some waistbands. On the waist also they used to put the bands. Okay? And they used to wear, the ladies used to wear the, you can say bangles, right till the upper arm. Just go to the figure properly. See the ornaments in the Harappan civilization. These were the ornaments which they used to wear. Many types of ornaments have been found in excavations. They are made of gold, copper, precious stones as also shells, cowries, seeds, etc. Men and women both used multi-strand necklaces, rings, armlets and waistbands. Women wore bangles right up to the upper arm. A statue found at Harappan site presents an excellent specimen of the art. It shows the man's facial features were very clearly. A cloak with a beautiful terrifying pattern is draped across his shoulder. Here is a figure I will show you. See you. Specimen of Arapan heart. Art. See the facial features. See the cloak. That means the whole body is covered with that cloth that is which is he dressed up in. And it is very simple and sober design is on that. It is across the shoulder. It means, now I will explain you, the life in the Harappan civilization. That means agriculture was the main occupation. The main occupation was agriculture. The Harappan people cultivated wheat. You know what is wheat? Gehu, rice, tandoor, barley. It is also food, food you will take. Or some like wheat type. Okay, sea same, legumes and cotton. All th these things were cultivated over there. The Harappan knew the art of weaving cotton. They, the people knew how to weave cotton. The dress consisted of a knee length gar garment. The ornaments were made of gold, silver, copper, as well as precious stones, shells and seeds. And women as well as men, they both uh, uh, used to wear multi-stranded necklaces around their necks as well as rings, armlets and even the waist bands. 
three point six trade. The Harappan people carried on trade with India as well as within with the countries outside also. The Indus Valley was known for its high quality cotton. This cotton was exported to other regions like West Asia, Southern Europe, and Egypt. Cotton cloth too was exported. The traders of the Harappan civilization provided muslin cloth to Egypt, silver, zinc, gemstones, rubies, deodar wood were some of the items that were imported from Kashmir, South India, Iran, Afghanistan, and Balochistan. Trade was carried on both by land routes and sea routes. Some of the excavated seals bear pictures of ships. A huge dockyard has been discovered at Lothal. The trade of Harappan civilization was carried on along the coastal line of the Arabian Sea. See the figure, an artist's visualization, visualization of dockyard at Lothal, reconstructed with the help of the remains. See how it is made. See. Can you see properly? See the water in between. It is a dockyard at Lothal. It is again reconstructed, means again it is made with the help of the remains which they found out from anyway. Now we are going to study about 3.7 that is reasons for decline of the Harappan civilization. How did they decline over there? How did the people of Harappan were declined? How they became less? Due to frequent floods, invasion by foreign tribes, decline in trade was some of the reasons for decline of the Harappan civilization. Some regions became arid due to weakening of monsoon, drying up of river basins, earthquakes, changes in sea level, people have migrated to other places, leading to decline of cities. The Harappan civilization was prosperous and flourishing. Urban civilization. It laid the foundation of Indian civilization. What does it mean? Frequent, it was that frequent floods were there. Every now and then some, there were floods and that there were changes in the sea level. That means the water level was coming up and down. Then there were earthquakes. You know what is the meaning of earthquakes? Invasion of foreign tribals. Some foreign people had come over there. Because of that, there was a decline in trade, sending of the goods from one place to another. They led to migration, that means they started moving from one place to another. And desertion of the towns, and the towns become deserted. That means no one was living over there. And people were moving from one place to another. That means they were migrated. As well as the decline of the Harappan civilization. Because of all these reasons, the Harappan people were declining. So my dear children, I've finished the chapter. I'll show you or I'll give you the notes as well as the worksheet is given. You have to solve that worksheet in your notebook. Okay, thank you.